Hey, what's going on guys? Sub here, and welcome to a redstone video. Now, I don't normally do redstone, but I've recently been very interested in it. As you can see, I have many redstone contraptions built. Only half of them work, uh, but that's besides the point. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a bubble elevator. Now, for those of you who don't know what a bubble elevator is, perhaps you're used to the normal water elevator, where you place a block of water, and then signs above and below, another block of water, you swim up. This, because of 1.13 and 14, we can now just do this. Launches ourselves up. Now, I'm going to show you how to build this, and it basically is it's very simple. You have soul sand, which boosts you up, because if you don't know, soul sand, when underwater, creates bubbles that push you up. Magma blocks are the opposite, they pull you down. So I'm going to show you how to build this super simple bubble elevator, and you can put it in your survival worlds, and yeah, you're pretty good. So... You want to do is you want to start off with soul sand and magma block. Now you're going to want to have the magma block as the base block, the block you're going to have uh, in the elevator because you're going to push it around. So basically how this works is you have these two, and when you give power to them, uh, they're going to. This one is going to push and do nothing. This one is going to replace the magma block with the soul sand, so you'll get pushed up. But to do this, you need to obviously activate it. So, when you're going to your elevator, you're going to have a stone pressure plate. That stone pressure plate is going to run redstone power through the block it's on into the redstone here. Which is going to go around into... Nope, that's wrong. It's going to go around into this piston. So when you step on it, it's going to activate the piston. It doesn't exactly do much. Actually, this is the opposite. You're supposed to have the soul sand like that. Like that, guys. Alright. Then you're going to want to have an observer observing the piston. So when that piston pushes the soul sand over, it's going to emit a redstone signal, which is going to go uh, through three, four, actually, was it three? Yeah, no, I put a lot more because it. you want to have your timing down. If it, if you can't get through the door fast enough, then this is, this is not the circuit for you. This is basically actually the whole circuit. You have a pressure plate that... That's wrong. Alright, so I'm actually going to build this up right now. So you have your redstone blocks. And, alright, hang on. Just one second, guys. One second. I'm going to snake this last. Uh, so here you can clearly see that we have a door. Not much about it, I guess. Just got a door, some glass on top. We don't have the water in yet, but as you see, when you step on the pressure plate, the door's going to open, it's going to switch to soul sand, then it's going to switch back to the magma block. Now, if it's too fast for you and you have a long bubble elevator, you may want to just increase the amount of time it takes for the signal to go from the observer, so that way you have more time to go up the elevator. Uh, these do only have a certain reach, though, so, you know, it's not the best. I can't do that with water. Alright, so I'm going to grab some water right here, so I'm going too fast. You can... You have to fill up every block with water by itself. So as you can see, we filled up every block with water. And if we go and step on the pressure plate here, door's going to open, it's going to get soul sand, we're going to get pushed up, and it's going to switch to the magma block. So when you want to go back down, simply step in it, pulls you back down, and walk out, and that's the circuit. Now, you can do a lot of fun stuff with bubble elevators. Like a lot of fun stuff. You may think, oh, it's a better water elevator, it's faster, costs a bit more. But you can prank people with this, if you don't know. So, you got the magma block, and you could not pull soul sand. You do not need soul sand. Although, if you really wanted to prank someone good, you could just build a another bubble elevator like this. Uh, Peter and Redstone... Uh, so we'll just have and then connect this to the piston. Have our pressure plate. I cannot spell today. Yeah. So we can have the pressure plate. And this is, as you see, and I just made another water elevator. But there is a very good reason for this. I want to show you how you can prank people with these water elevators. Because these are... These are really good, and I know I'm saying water elevator instead of bubble elevator. That's that's because I'm not used to actually calling them bubble elevators. I'm too used to the regular one. So, 
when you step in, it's going to do the exact same thing as the other one. It is going to punch the soul sand, and you will be boosted up. But what you can do without that is you can prank people with this. Now you may be wondering how. There are many different ways. For instance, when you get up to a certain height, you could run, let's say we get up to here, build it up a bit. You could not have water there, just have the water straight up gone and grab a I guess tripwire would work. Yeah, you could put tripwire. So people may think that this is the next floor, but what you could do instead is you could run a tripwire across the top here. So that when they cross this, like, alright, let me, yeah, we're going to put the water in, and then I'm going to show you exactly what I need. So, oh, that's too much water. <laughs> I just broke it. Alright, so, you have the water right there, you have the tripwire hook, and that destroyed all the redstone. This is great. This is, I am the best redstoner <laughs> ever, obviously. Uh, we're going to have to rebuild you. Yeah. Okay, so I just got a phone call. I don't know if you guys heard that, but ignore it if you did. <laughs> I'm not the best at editing, so I don't think that'll be edited out if you can hear it. So, whatever. Anyway, yeah, this destroyed all the redstone. That's great. <laughs> That's why I should not build with water. Anyway, so you have the tripwire hook here and a reserver facing it. I'm doing this weirdly because I don't actually exactly know how to work triple wires. So then when the observer's power powered, you can get a dispenser here. Hook the redstone up to the dispenser. And then when you cross this is that working? Hang on. Let me just run it back a bit. Like that, maybe. Hang on. I just wanna. No. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I gotta. Yeah, now it's putting it. So, what you can do is you can grab lava and just put it in there. So, let's say I'm in survival mode. Let's just cut this up a bit. Survival here. So we're in survival mode. We're in, let's say, our friend's base. We're going to use the water up there and go up. We go up, and you hit the tripwire hook, and it, I did that wrong. I did that completely wrong. <laughs> Oof. I did not count on you hitting it twice. Okay, so maybe this is a bad idea, <laughs> but what you can do is, instead of tripwire hooks, actually, yeah, we can still use those tripwire hooks. I think that's a pretty good idea. So you have the tripwire hooks, you have your observer, and when this is powered, what we can have is we can have a piston right down here. You would obviously not build it, like, as obvious as I am building it right now. But you will have a piston. No, I want to have you. No. See, I don't want to destroy my water when I build this. So we're just going to. Right, there we go. So we got the piston there. So what you can do. Is you can have it so that. Let me grab the redstone really fast. That's not going to fully work, is it? Alright, hang on. Let me get a block there yeah so that is going to push a block below you when you go up and you know, let me just reset that and grab the water bucket just to yeah want to make sure that works so you can have it so that when you hit up there it's going to activate the piston yeah so it activates the piston does that and then what you can have is a dispenser 
from all right so we can have an observer observing the piston and when that happens this can give out a redstone signal this is overly complicated if any of you guys actually understand redstone you will probably be a lot better at this than me anyway so when that happens you can have all of this activate a dropper right here and this dropper with lava in it and because I didn't build it weirdly this time it should just dispense it once because it will destroy that and the piston will be there so I'm just gonna quickly I want to fix this. I want to fix it without that happening. Let me rephrase that. Because now we have stone here. And the water elevator broke. Which is not what we want. So, I have that. We have to replace the block there. Ugh, the water got out again. I am so bad with redstone. <laughs> uh, no, you go into there. You're fine. You're just, do we have repeaters on us? Yes, we do. Uh, oh my god. The amount of times I've rebuilt this circuit, I should have just protected it. This is what I get for building with water. So, when you go up, you're gonna... Gotta remember to put this stuff back. Alright, this is... Fine, right? Yeah, that, that would work. I think I think it's fully working. <laughs> um, as you can tell, this is my first time making a redstone video for you, those of you watching. But yeah, this is the booby trapped bubble elevator. So we're gonna go into survival again. This time it should work. So we go in, we enter, we go up, we hit it. The block is placed, and the lava doesn't work. All right, I'm just bad with redstone. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm gonna figure this out. Alright guys, so we got it working, and this is by far the dumbest complicated, this is overly complicated, you can simplify this easily. So what I added besides this is, I made it so that when this dispenser puts the lava down, this observer, this is observed by this observer, which is observed by this observer, which is going to activate this dispenser to release water to stop this circuit. Just release the water, stop that one redstone from going into this, so the lava stays. There is so many different ways you could probably do this. I have just overcomplicated it. Also, the lava fell down and destroyed all the circuits again, so I had to rebuild this, which is great, because <laughs> I do not like rebuilding this. This is... Fucking, this, this sucks. <laughs> I do not like having to rebuild this circuit so many times. But anyway, this is my overcomplicated elevator of death. This is... That is what this is. The overcomplicated elevator of death. Literally look at the amount of redstone it did to just place down the lava and trap you. That's that's too much. So we're gonna go back to survival for the last time, hopefully. Walk through the door, go up, that triggers. I forgot to put the lava in. Alright, either this doesn't work, or, you know what, this is just a waste of time. You walk in, you go up. Well, you're trapped. What happened there? It activated. Oh, this activated too early. Alright, so, oh, <laughs> uh, this is, I'm going to hopefully actually get it fixed. Alright, this, this better work. I'm scrapping the whole recording if it doesn't. You go in, you get pushed up, you put in, and yay, it activates and you're set on fire. You know what, this is good enough. Um, Yeah, bubble elevators. They're helpful, useful, and fun. I would use this one right now to test it out, but the circuit broke. Yay, bubble elevator. Alright, I'm just going to end this here, guys. Because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Although, I do want to make more redstone vids soon. Probably explaining all this other stuff I built. <laughs> Anyway, guys, peace out.